As crave is sure, clear and gale, as crave is foam, do you know what the altar is sure is all you? My name is Robert Cotin Carswell, Robert Carslach. Have I heard tell of old Bobby Bob? And this programme is called Clare na Gael, in which you'll hear not only the English language, ach nis you clash nis, a hilg, but you'll also hear the Manx Gaelic, Chinia na Mera, the mother tongue of Elian Vanning, the Isle of Man. As Bannacht and Jurish, now David Robertson, as we heard, supports the British Crown buying the Lordship of Man in order to suppress the running trade, but he complains nevertheless that revenue raised in the island went to the British Treasury and wasn't spent on much-needed works here in the island. And so we move on this time to Chapter 18 of his 1791 return visit to the island. Tan fairly Vincent J. Tylius North, Lord Machon Kratnig and Skelliadach, the Kurit Lesh Tyle or a Scholteren for thee, Na Ton Skerich and Berg Olach, Och Tat Skepel. Take inch then Shan Weinschereger and Olu van Helsing, as then Cumreg Eggers of Rassel Merish and fairly John Seward, the Velalid Shen Tachert Nakurden. With Unchruniach coming up from the 24th to the 30th of July, as Philly has been saying, we'll start with a recording from a couple of years ago of what was then the Breton Manx collaboration and has since become Nier Nesson, a Manx song Abraham Dune and the Breton War Enezen Manav. Tashu Geishach Rish Radio Banning, Stashu Nanashun, Viscolar Scalia Mach, Waitulish, Alan Banning. Je 
gli ho detto mi sto bene di tutti i giorni a cane per rubare venda la venda a fare tanto non te capo e Recorded at the Centenary Centre in Peel, we heard David Kilgallen, Loch Landa, Mira Royal and Thomas Moisson, the first performance of the Breton Manx collaboration. Chapter 18, then. General character of the Manx, their indolence, melancholy, superstition, disregard of science, clerical character, poverty of genius and a public spirit among the Manx, their attention to private charity. This account of the Isle of Man I shall now conclude with a general character of the natives. Divesting myself of every prejudice and only solicitous, he quotes, to extenuate nothing nor set down aught in malice. <laughs> and, well, having said that, indolence is a prominent feature of the Manx character. Otherwise, the lands would be more universally cultivated and manufactures more generally established. From whatever causes this hereditary inactivity may spring, I'll not presume to say, but it certainly derives new influence from the quiet of the lonely vales and mountainous recesses to which the greater part of the inhabitants are accustomed from childhood. Rishachtan lug shen, chrauna pech and clay veg, och, in nien a chloga marki jerk, ern rist the sun stack alley sun earth, der a henk and al show machon a ven brow ellen, as near a shen shape, tre ginst the lure ern son, eer a gilly beg bach show, ter tre renny dus the jew, vry a gen vonder, rau kiedegger guller soul. Tre vrai i jy yn o'r fe gyr i gol, dwr te draw i gyr i gol dychlai merys y fen braw elen. Tam i tre stiel, dwr bran helsing, tre taw cortai y pechau, dy jyn o cor rawd yn y perint yn ega, dy reil ar y gyr ersyn, sfyr gawach tan y skelem yn siod y raw el, as dy jyn o'ch y pechau tanach dyn mwy i elia, Sgasol ych eid y bech eid bes oel. Ach, son sian y zolio tam eid siilt yn y ginnw lleg y mach eid rys cwst o lein. A visitor to yn crynach on two occasions in the 1980s was great Scottish Gaelic singer Christine Primrose, who also came for the Coosh a few years ago as well. Sel a nhaid mi chaid an e glaing san romi oog Far mwch ni al aif nog sain, sgan o afoch ein tyn oen. A bwch i ddoch grodd oi, ag ys gawn y mar bynnoes. O nhaid mis a chai, gan y glaing san rhomi o. Es trig y fys mi cain o chyg, gach loch y slyn y sob. Smiod o chlas na glawn y sain, gwybain y mysg na glas. Yn gro y siad chor i ar i dda, er hiant yn gych y nio. Sagnian er i dol y sias, na fyniar dol loch y rwyg. Chadjian mis y diolch o nyeth besg yr ffia o chroed. Yn iaf y fan na sgiaf y ri sgiaf y leig san o. Is for I'm 
Christine Primrose, who asked, Until Mishachai, shall I ever return? As can El Shaw and Fregert den Feshen, Son Shigar is a gin, Ganeir is shacht and ek good slu, no soldier man of a lot der lenige. For three slure kout der geert eind and tailies, no vision jerkerish, as when green angel she slurish and three hengschen mag as. Tre hondik van Helsing kreeg het dorgers wee door te. Gen eldris orin, teen as saan mi na wa mis monion, ta lik don shire bol en jacht de wat moet jy, as eis nie met gul de red ein. Gauschen jener ons Castle Jack Straw, mer is channel beg de warki roar, as mer is virelje wa feirach ons ach ginnel. Mus jy er a glag gauschen taiacht van taios. Lorish and tre shen, we feed orica. As ren na lampen, skilt, mgeet, correr, dorgus, ve na smooch, a leers for shin chum, gamalishal. Lorish and tre shen, we feed orica. As ren na lampen, skilt, mgeet, correr, dorgus, ve na smooch, a leers for shin chum, mui, jen rosten as ek kach. Scrunnel, we ter aw an allo, a hor gailed and red, was shin de gol, er son higher rosh gin leister. Ach, Er ma hon hien, van my fodachilje de loer benten de nerd. To a contemplative mind, solitude is a fountain of the sublimest enjoyments. Hmm, sounds all right, doesn't it? But then Robertson continues, operating, however, on an inert disposition, it only cherishes a sombrous melancholy, which, by enervating the mind, renders it a slave to every superstition, or what is still more unfortunate, eradicates every vestige of reason. In support of this observation, I need only refer to some of the superstitious delusions of the natives, and to the harmless but sullen lunatics who so frequently distress distress the feeling mind of this country. To a gloomy imagination thus nourished, nourished by indolence and solitude, perhaps may be imputed the general influence of Methodism in the island, being more ambitious to astonish the ignorant by thundering forth the terrors of the law than to captivate them by displaying the mild beauty of the gospel, Methodism easily assimilates with gloomy minds, heightens native melancholy by religious terrors, and rapidly establishes over the weak and superstitious an unlimited control. It's difficult to know who he's not trying to insult there, isn't it, really?
Welsh band who were here from Cruniach a few years ago, Hoggy Air Gororai, the boys of the borders, the lads of the marches, playing the well-known tune about the busy bee from Gwent, Gwenin and Gwent, actually a tribute to Augusta Hall, Lady Llanover, at Nabod Eir Orsadfel, Gwenin and Gwent. Nashun to Radio Vanning as and show she Claire Nagale with Scholar Scalia Mach. She Robert Cutin Carswell, Miss Robert de Carslach. Have you heard tell of our Bobby Bob? Well, to Claire Nagale reclash and the shacht and look jiggler Scalia Mach and hear show, egg in a dagger radio, radio Vanning, Truden Kraman eragert. As the podcast chin che Claire Nagale Nis, as the Shen Rachet Nasty Er in the Degger Radio Vanning, the Trude and Reich Er the Podcast Yo, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Audible, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Tune In, Na Alexa. The inhabitants of the towns, opines David Robertson, are, however, in some degree exempt from these evils. Society promotes activity and activity dispels from the mind the cloud of superstition. Men, as they become more social, become more cheerful and enlightened. Among the higher classes of the Manx are some of polished manners, liberal minds, and real hospitality. But there are many more who, presuming on the wealth they have amassed, are haughty in their deportment and illiberal in their prejudices. The middle ranks have a great air of politeness and hospitality. Yet they have been frequently esteemed shrewd, selfish, insincere, and litigious. The lower classes are like the vulgar in every country, only perhaps a little more inert and ignorant. They know little of the enjoyments of life, many of them consuming the greater part of their year in listless stupidity. Their habitations are miserable huts, their attire mean. And we come to a footnote next about that mean attire. Cowds heishin the soja, Henkshin quail the slu was the slu the lie, Dera for yera, for yindis oren begin tre henkshin quail ear patrol na mer and she, Cowlish uh, uh, patrol na mer and she cabil, gull the runner for valja cajin egger. For yera, renkshin ball a uh, rollick, Harish renshin drapple. Lesh pert the goliad. Er nod rawi fi dorachas when cledden ball jean ha quertun, hur shin a liacht western raw. Rau an olu an acher, doshle a doris chisterni, as esh leshen shadow er gould a court oil, a sledden gin tort, rene kaurach a dow de gol roshen. Vasosh de chreij now yerket yindis ax a cheb, sa court oily jail yigger and red egg yidder hir grau. Dair mych ymwraig orm dy bliw ys dy haradach chiarn ei dwnt y dorys, lwg dy jyn o siga dy cyreilach, dy raw a glas jyn sorch fys tusym ys yn ei ffer ys fel ymwch yn hon. Syna sted fe eich singen er fe ond strach acht. Eich rhan i myrtach ys y ffog ega. Now, at the time the Irish band Cunla visited on Cruniach, they'd just released their first album, and this is the title track from it, River Waiting. Run into the black There's no turning back Just keep your mind on track Forget about them Cause they'll cut you no slack To the wood will go And keep it down And keep it low to Hear the flow of the river Just 
your brother is with her. Singer and Bowron player with Kunla, Kira McCafferty, uh, was, she was leading the way there. She also co-wrote that song, River Waiting, with guitarist Paul Starrett. Look at Goel Machas, Kist Your Father, as Peace the Heinl, Hai Er the Horsaljadun. Van Liach Sole, as Treve Cast, Les Ble Nura, Ernie in Gromach as Grena de Lur. Ach nish. Cus de len the san me, trevan a blen croch a shis, shang as maru, na dehen ben ock chit de ve rai as na dehen glad ock de ve don, trevan du oli as a dale a goil rish er manchrach eg ock, er manchrach cajin ock, treren clach as an dejji millet eg tre as mortar le skrig de yon er as yarn murgach tash. As prash now glen, as plate urgidich aurach, liga back for lace fairs kynel. Van eirtis jane as strimshi as na smooth solach, na fuddy pecher be shielden. Renny sizer gemach and acht na wodder we curit sha, na rau bioes, bioes creaturen, and rid indrigen odder gleer soul. Ren van Helsing culina and overreg at the René Kummel the Heinl the Wodache Lia in the plate and coffin. The poorer sort of men, explains Robertson, usually wear a kind of sandal, which they call kerens, made of untanned leather, cross laced from the toe to the upper part of the instep, and gathered about the ankle. Well, he doesn't actually explain about any other attire, but <laughs> we can rest assured he means he didn't go round in nothing but garains. Anyway, he continues, Their common diet is thin barley cakes or herrings and potatoes, with a beverage of milk and water. Being, however, of an athletic frame, they brave these hardships, and from the salubrity of the country, many of them arrive at a great age. Another footnote now tells us, In summer the air is cooled by the sea breezes. The winter is as mild as in the same latitude of the neighbouring countries, and, though fogs are rather frequent, they don't appear to be injurious to the health of the inhabitants. Sea-bathing is, is peculiarly delightful in this island. 
the water being so lucid and pure that the fine sandy bottom may be seen at a great depth. Now, for the first Uncruniach festival in 1978, visitors from, from Cornwall were three quarters of the band Booker, brothers Andy, Kit, and Neil Davy. Merv couldn't make it that year, but this is Booker from their album, which they recorded in 1982. Booker with the Cornish song and Lader the Robber. The Manx are generally of a pensive physiognomy, says Robertson, seldom expressive of vivacity or sublimity of mind. Some of the women, however, are beautiful, and a few of them not unacquainted with female accomplishments. The liberal arts have few votaries in this country. Science is disregarded, and polite literature little cultivated. Their parochial clergy are more respectable for their virtues than eminent for learning or genius. They're seldom distinguished by a university education, but at a clerical seminary in Castletown imbibed the elements of theology and classical law. And another footnote says, To Bishop Barrow the Manx clergy are eminently indebted. Besides several other instances of his beneficence to them, he founded by donations which he collected in England this academy and by his own private charity purchased two estates for the support of such young persons as should be designed for the ministry. As van Helsing cumul a kain on zacht ren a chir ven tusjum ons clamp and bene, ren tuche gelees ven a veni a main, ren a kronache kop in Lucy. Ren a ronsache ries a fog ege, as gau i mach skrodade. Krebus fod, Raimi. Fosler coffin. Be shigger as that force. 
Chilirach awi toiach der goil mach no skrodachan. Is fwy yera chrogei wai a farro, rin saelchach a mach a kistia the lai fo. Van rirch is bonus rawr er mahon. Fe jean de chor lid a snai den ven varu, mor de bech er bei de chor an edach ji, chaus vin a kadla, as ish fos bio. Ons rirch id chau mi greim jen laweg a de chor stapper. Ha dur teach, nil fagen, as Rish looked at Murtach as a fog egger, Gawi mach sow clear beg. As e sai a scrodder through the lie, less sai tavi shees, Rencor orum johnserach, Rene tol beg. Ach, for force mood the lure the horse jach, bear a how. Well, that's a snippet from Manx band Sheer, Chintia, Katie, Brigia and Chloe, who played it in Cruniach in 2007 and went on as a trio, at least, to represent the island in the Celtic Nations Festival in Louisiana that October. Unfortunately, Kate, Katie couldn't go, but that was one of her tunes, Financial Insecurity. Stashun the Nashun the Jaru to Radio Vanning, Tashu Geshach Rish Claire Nagale, Merampin, Robert Cutting Carswell, Robert Carslach. Did the other hear tell? I found Bobby Bob! Vami Jerkle Rish Rai the Gas, Vai Court Maru Rish Shachton. Tame Orinan the Fear Lee is for fame Orinjanus to Deris Jane the Gowan Dun, Chit the Vay Olach Rish Rhythm Jane Lead Shen. A sharn me back gus a dorus. A cherenn an allu square by rish tullach. Rene sawel shees rish cobble de chryen, rish unchow a coffin lie, as eish herish, a shees a chow elia. Gawe oer a chula faeslit. Rene luba back e gus bunna coffin. As gouds ve cummel sus a kynel gus a dorlish, Rene cowrach a dow de yin stiach on. Yarmi ergera. As yich me. Follum van coffin. Son shigger is hugge yin de sorum, as hugge thou grain moor de lour. Ach, we van helsing fur chushach. Nish, vein a smoo shigger na ve ryu, mechion a chush, as jint ge dene de goler lesh an oberege. Wel u saige je nish, mechara john, brye? Gaini mi slent bain er argenach sternesach mughuchus dusta chaust aijim. Now, Robertson is dealing with the clergy now, somebody else to insult. Their livings seldom exceed £200 and are never inferior to £50. Yet, on this income, they live contented and happy. The solitude of the country, it may be presumed, would be favourable to the pursuits of philosophy or literature, and its picturesque and romantic scenery to the indulgence of the imagination. Yet, the Isle of Man has not produced a person known in the neighbouring kingdoms either by the vigour of intellect or the fire of genius. The Manx are like the Swiss and Highlanders, warmly attached to their native vales and mountains, tenacious of their ancient customs, and jealous of their hereditary rights and privileges, 
They have, however, few monuments of public spirit. The House of Keys, this is the one in Castletown, is a mean building. The public jail a dungeon, and the principal harbour almost in ruins. While in the whole island there is no public establishment for sheltering the destitute, protecting the insane, restoring the sick, or supporting the poor. Our Welsh singer Susan George visited Anacroniach with her partner Stuart Brown, making up the duo Mabsant, and she also came by herself another year, I think, and she and Christine Primrose, in fact, they made a, a formidable but fun team. Now here Susan sings with Mabsant. country without a language, a country without a heart. Glad heb iaith, glad heb galon. Sung by Susan George with accompaniment by Stuart Brown, the duo Mabsant. Yet, in this country, private charity is liberal. In the herring season, the benevolence of the fishermen feeds the poor. And footnote says, the Manx have the following generous proverb. Tret an derevach cun olesh bach elia, ta jihin gerechti. When one poor man relieves another, God himself rejoices at it, or, as it is in the original, laughs outright. So the fishermen feed the poor in the herring season, and, he says, during the residue of the year, they are supported by the weekly generosity of a few individuals. A sympathy for the distress of others has been distinguished by juvenile as the highest ornament of our nature, and charity by the sacred writers has been accounted the completion of human virtue. A juvenile, the uh, Roman poet, Decimus Junius Juvenalis, details of his life unknown but active in the late 1st and early 2nd century. Hook me an surde. Tami saeach ege na vel corp lusi se chofen sien, ach na vel sien praulach on red. As gerid te sien, machara John. Novelle on. Smyr a soon shen dorte, quishes de salje gemach weg, a crenach tau, crenach dodosu, corcunta jay, novelle on. 
Fod i draw rhwsta rolig ys y chwys, hwg mi mor ffaw. Fod i dy fel cius dy lai yn o'n lwcadr er ych ai dde. Dyn i mi draw mi lort bach nid ys, neu ai sy'n o'n o'r riech dod mi chyt... Ach, as neu ai sy'n o'n o'r riech dod mi chyt er. Ren yn olw osna, a wel dwi'r de, sain de tuliw prawl ys fe ein, ta mer ym. Hwgi a ffargl er y chofyn rys, rwy'n i chymsych a olyw a choli ega, ys hwgi a is diachs a ffoga. Fwch i a saeljil a sege, ys hwgi a caenl nys a ffoga ega. Rwy'n sy'n ffosl a dorys, ys hwgi a sy'n mach as. Nyn lwg rwy'n i dwna a dorys ys hwgi a ffoglas e. Hwgi daw yn ochr ys dwi'r tre, dyn os freili, ber dwi'r tre a hygryd. Now, the Glasgow Hebridean Choir, conducted by Rybert McCallum, enjoyed several visits to the island, including to Unchruniach. Here they sing Rory and Callum MacDonald's song, Tír an Arum. <laughs> Glasgow Hebridean Choir, conducted by Rybert McCallum. Ren mi gera, chynae gera roch unl fe em, sain ddau greu, mo ren mi cawrach y de dy freili. Chynae eich feg ta ochr, dwi'r mi, ffod i dy fel cop yn gi. Ys an si bi, chynae doli e brys y stiach ond sglas jain liad sian. Chy dwi'r de feg a chwg e yn ochr sy'n ffog o ega. I shall therefore conclude this sketch of the general character of the Manx with observing that, notwithstanding several imperfections which a regard to truth unaffected with prejudice has forced me to point out, this country is distinguished, though not by public, by what is equally noble, private charity, and a higher honour can scarcely be inherited by a nation, for in the lustre which benevolence throws over the general character, a generous mind forgets every blemish and imperfection. And then in capital letters we have, End of the Tour.
As le shen ta shin kor kion er a chor mach sho jay clair na gael an chacht an sho. Alex Brindley is here again to bring you two hours of the best chill out music for your Sunday evening from seven o'clock to nine. And at nine o'clock Judith Lay brings you her program sundown into the early hours of Monday morning. Well, next weekend, from Friday the 21st to Sunday the 23rd of July, it'll be Peel Traditional Boat Weekend. So an opportunity to admire the boats, and there's usually some singing and playing going on. And the boat building from scratch on the Fenella Beach car park from 8.30 in the morning on Saturday the 22nd, with vessels launching from the Fenella Beach at 3 o'clock. And then we'll be into Uncruniach, of course, after that, but more on that next time. Breton band Fors Penaus first visited Uncruniach in 1994 and had a huge influence on the emergence of King Hjoli. Fors Penaus returned some 30 years later, but this is from their first recording which they brought with them in 1994. But now, until the next time then, this is Robert Gutting Carswell, Robert Akarslach. Bobby Bob. Wishing you a very good night. If I'm a creary, will you as Orturlie as my year and shared you? Thank you.